So this video is for the hydro dipping community. Um, those are custom stenciled out. But anyway, there was a question the other day that I saw, and by no means, guys, am I a professional? You know, we, we I've been doing this for like maybe two years. You know, and I would like to think I'm okay at it, but I'm not going to claim to be Jim or you know any of the other guys that are way badass. As you can see, if I was way badass, this wouldn't have happened out of stupidity. Uh, what happened when I dip this side in first is that happened because there was no film right there the edge ran out which i should have dipped way earlier in the tank but anyway that aside um the roll came out really good um and stenciled out freaking names for the customer so he doesn't have to keep writing his name on his helmet with a paint marker because i thought that looked gross anywho so um there was a question the other day about taping uh, about double dips or you know possibly doing this because you could you guys could honestly you know there's going to be some companies out there like in England where um, I've heard them say if it comes out messed up in the tank and it's going back in all together you know it needs to come you know you need to shave all this down and repaint it and I'm sorry but that's a lot of work for that little mistake which I can fix in two seconds so what we're going to do guys is I'm going to show you how to tape it my method of taping anyway what tape I use because um, I used to have this problem a lot too uh, you put tape down right there and the ink where you put the tape down would lift right off and then you're screwed you know you're just about as screwed as this um, so I'm gonna show you some little tricks I've learned to help kind of prevent that and here we go all right so I'm gonna show you guys how to tape that up real quick so we can just you know dip that little corner in real quick in a scrap and it'll blend in nicely honestly you'll probably never even knows it happened. Um, so for those of you guys who are in the States, you know, like me, uh, we have the Harbor Freight. Um, Harbor Freight sells this, this masking tape right here, you know, 45 foot, blah, 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 blah. It was super cheap. That's why I picked up, it comes in a, roll, a stack of like six or seven, I think. And it was like, you know, six bucks. And I was like, hey, you know, might as well try it out. Do not try it to mask lines because it freaking blows for that. But for this, it's not very sticky and low tack is your friend. So we're going to go ahead and get it, you know, peeled back. Um, and the trick, guys, I've learned is just take your finger and, like, put some spit on it. I know that's going to sound gross, but just put some spit on it some water. And then just kind of, kind of gently wet that section right there that you're gonna tape over. Um, that little bit of moisture, guys, will. I mean, it's gonna. The thing is, make sure you wrap the backside really well. Um, you know, so we're just gonna wrap that in. Um, and then we're going to dip that edge real quick and then I'm going to show you guys how to rinse this off in the tank and hopefully that doesn't pull up and I look like an idiot but this is generally rich for me so there you go alright guys so I dipped that little section right there um, you know just dipped it in and we're going to go rinse it off so we'll see if it tape rinses off without pulling up uh, and I don't look like it alright guys so what I'm going to do I know that's really loud sorry the pumps are loud um I'm going to try and rinse all this in, get this wet, you know, let it rinse for a good, you know, 20 seconds. And I'm going to gently pull this back while rinsing and letting the water get underneath the tape. And the tape should essentially just fall right off. You shouldn't feel like pressure or back pressure or it's sticking. It should, the water should neutralize the adhesive essentially. Um, so let's see if it works.
There we go, guys. I know you guys are going to be able to see that line, and that's going to drive you nuts, but I'm, I'm doing this for a friend for almost nothing. Um, so, but, you know, there's no, it didn't lift right there where the tape was at all. So a little bit of moisture before you put down the tape, um, which is going to kind of help stop the adhesion process, but still give you a masking point. And then rinse it back, rinse the adhesive off, just like, you know, as you rinse the PVA off, and slowly pull back the tape. And that should save your part. Uh, or just don't double dip, which I hate doing anyway. So, there you go.